Yeah, I get as many no's as you guys. I probably get more, you know. I mean, I, I get 10 no's a week, probably. Because I think about all the people I'm working with and the material I'm out there making moves with. And I get a lot more no's than I get yeses. Um, so no's are hard. No's sting. Even they sting me. And I'm not even the writer of the script. I'm always like, wow, that no stung me. But it must sting even more when it's like your baby and you wrote it and it was your idea and you spent a year working on it. It hurts, you know. Over time, you do get a little more used to the nose. I'd say a little more numb to it. And you bounce back faster, you know. The no always stings. And it used to bum me out for like it would ruin my day, you know. Now it kind of ruins my 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 minute. <laughs> um, but that's after 15 years. It used to ruin my day, then it would ruin my afternoon. That would ruin my hour. Now I'm, I can shake it off pretty quick, but that's just because I've built up a, a a a hard shell of like a lot of no's. And 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 just to inspire you guys, like everything I've taken out and sold huge, and that goes from like Snow White and the Huntsman to Crawl to Stuber um, to Last Stand. I'm just thinking of movies of scripts, spec scripts I sold that became movies nonstop. Um, these were all spec scripts from newish writers and a lot of times brand new writers and not a single one of those, uh, did, did I not encounter at least five no's, usually 10 before I got a yes. Um, and this is just from like a producer, you know, this is just someone I was like, Hey, you want to develop this for free? Like, this isn't going to cost you anything. This is just like, do you want to be involved in this project because you're a big producer? you're a big name and you'll help us get it made. Um, and every, so I always tell writers, who, you know, everything I've sold, I've gotten at least 10 passes and I've never sold anything that I got like a hundred yeses, never. It's usually, if anything, 50, 50 with even a great piece of material. It's, I, I give it to 20, 30 places. It's usually 10 hard no's. 10 were interested and then 10 kind of middle of the pack. We don't know. We're going to pitch it to our boss, you know, and that's just the way it is. Um, so, so much of this business is about um, taste and opinion, frankly. And that's why I want you guys to know, like, all this is just my opinion and this is my taste. And I am by no means like the 10 commandments and I am not like the law and I'm not a, a police officer of Hollywood. And, you know, the business is evolving and what's what's not in fashion now, it will be in fashion in two years. And there'll be a trend coming in horror that I just don't see coming. That I like I told you guys, I thought zombies were dead, you know, pun intended. Um, but they're never dead, you know, they're always reanimating. And uh and I used to be like, no more zombies, no more zombies. And now I'm like, yeah, I'm open to zombies. So I'm digressing a little here, but the point is like for everything you go out with, you'll get at least an equal amount of no's. And usually a higher percentage of no's. Just, just if you believe in the project and you believe in the script in today's age, um, you can you can go shoot it yourself and put it on YouTube and Vimeo. You know, there's other outlets. You can do a GoFundMe. Um, you can start a TikTok <laughs> and and display it. Like, I mean, if you know, what's the TikTok for a whore? I don't know. It's all dance stuff now. But there's just and I'm not on TikTok, but I'm just it's something I, I I'm aware of and I see. There's ways to get it out there. And if you really believe in it, just don't give up. Um, and uh, that's how I am with material I, I, I really believe in. And there's there's plenty of scripts. I've gotten 300 no's. And I finally get a yeah. And then it gets made. And then it becomes a movie or something that people like. And um, so just don't get discouraged. And I, you know, people always go out and celebrate when they sell script, whatever, whether that's like, going out to a nice meal, having a nice bottle of wine, um, going on a nice vacation, um, however you want to celebrate, you know? Um, but I say celebrate the, the, the bad days and I say celebrate the passes too and treat yourself, you know? Like you get, a, like I get a hundred no's on something. Well, damn it, I'm gonna go get a massage, right? I'm gonna go treat myself. I'm gonna go reward myself for putting it out there. Like congratulate yourself for even putting your art out there. That's a scary thing and that's a hard thing. And that takes guts. And you know what? You generated something 
no one paid you to do it and you put your art out there and you put it in the world and uh maybe it's not for everyone and maybe it's just for a small group of people and that's okay you know um i of course am, am playing on the studio game so i'm trying to make things that are for mass amount of people an international audience but if that's not who it's for that's okay too and if it's not for me that's okay too you know i have a certain taste i have a certain way of doing things so that would be my advice is celebrate the wins but celebrate the losses i mean as long as the losses aren't you know loss of life and loss of health and loss of money um when i mean losses we're talking about your script got passes or your pitch no one liked your idea you know what congratulate yourself for just putting yourself out there i would say um and then go go write another one go generate another one try a new concept try a new idea don't get stuck on the one thing for 10 years you know try something new you know generate something new that would be my advice